Alrighty, up to any ladies and gentlemen. I'll start off early. Everybody, dobre veche, everyone. Good evening and welcome to the cafe. Aloha, everybody. It's great to see everybody here. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. And, of course, to our wonderful host, Bauke. I'll do my second one. Nasa Sina Ave. This is for you. Thank you, thank you. Mm. You have to be able to toast it. You're more like, yay. Mm. Cerveza. <laughs> Cerveza, yummy. We've got a great feature this evening, which I'm really looking forward to, but I'll, I'll hype her up all later. And, uh, well, you know, actually, I should probably do this one first because I've got the Crown Royal bag. I haven't put my stash in it, but this could be filled with um, bus fare money, the rent for our feature for the next, you know, six months because she's worth it. But, um, Anything that you can put in this bag to help out our feature for the evening would be really, really appreciated. I'm just going to throw it to you first, my love. And <clears throat> because we live with all of our stripper money, get all of our singles out. So um, <laughs> it, it invariably works that way. There's so many singles when you're done. But um, <clears throat> I thought I would read a few pieces from the current issue of CCD Magazine uh, next week. No, in two weeks, a uh, new issue will be out. But I will read, what would you like to hear first? Would you like something loud and poundy or, or light and upbeat? He says loud and poundy. I've got to have backup music for this. I'm all excited. I've got backup music. Thank you for John for the music here. You're awesome. Thank you in advance. Um, the noise. Thank you for the noise in the background. Uh, this piece is called Keeps Pounding Against Walls. I feel this pain in my chest. So I try to rationalize it away. This isn't heartburn, and my arm's not tingling. It's, it's not like I'm having a heart attack. But I think I know that my heart's been pounding because my heart's been trapped. It's been trapped. And I don't know if it's been trapped by my ribcage. I don't know if it's been trapped by your male oppression. I don't know if it's been trapped by my cowardice or my fear or by... I don't know what it's been trapping my heart, but it's been pounding so hard. So hard that it's slimming against those walls, those goddamn walls that I can't even see. God, I don't even know about the walls, but my heart keeps pounding against them. I don't know about the walls, but my heart's still pounding. I've read once before at the Avalon branch of the uh, Chicago Public Library with the Haman of South Africa while he played the cello. <laughs> Just so that you know, I guess. Um, this is called Just Out of Reach. <clears throat> was on some tropical island where tourists go and saw an inlet along the beach where they used net walls to show their trained dolphins. You asked me if I wanted to see the dolphins. I said, no. And it made me wonder, which was worse? Keeping wild sea animals in total captivity all of their lives in man-made ponds with man-made walls, or training wild sea animals in captivity and then taking them to the edge of their ocean, putting up man-made walls right up at the beachfront, giving them their water so they can look out at what they're missing. As we walked away along the beach, I saw a trainer on a platform guide a dolphin as it flipped through the air. And I thought, 
Let an infant lick a lollipop, then pull it away. Even after they've stopped crying, even if they're used to what they've got, all they can do now is stare at what they want, just out of reach. going to read <clears throat> two really short haiku-like pieces, one of my own because it's a good preface to one from Tom Roby, which is in this issue, and also is in the February month of the 2011 Poetry Wall Calendar, which is really cool. And I have to give a little announcement to anybody, if anyone is interested, instead of a Poetry Wall Calendar where a poem appears as a month and we can choose, you know, 12 poets, we're going to be doing... Thank you to suggestions from John over here. I haven't done this since 94. A uh, poetry date book, where it will be a spiral bound book of 130 pages, where every week has a poem, or uh, has, has the calendar for a week, and there will be poem material on the left hand page. So there will be a lot of good stuff, and if you have any poetry that relates to a specific date, if you have something about, you know. Arbor Day. Yeah. E exactly. Or if you have something about when. Rosa Parks was on the bus, or something. And there's a date for something, and you want it in there because we're doing this. We can have that set up for it, and that would be great to know. It would be absolutely wonderful. So, um, I don't know if these are related to dates, but this one I will. I'm preceding it with uh, Tom Roby's piece because <coughs> chronologically they precede each other. This is haiku esque, and it's called On Ashes. The house gas chambers work every morning as snow settles on ashes. I don't know if these really deserve a lot of applause for the theme. Yeah. But that, <laughs> this is an untitled one from Tom Rui. I heard him read this at Vito's venue months ago, and I said, send it to me, I want that. And, and here it is. This is from Tom Roby. Cream floats on coffee. Snow over Hiroshima, 1945. And of course, for the song that we were thinking that we were going to do, but we're going to then, therefore, go with something that a lot of people probably heard on the radio. Years ago. <laughs> so here's an upbeat one to end up our open mic before we go to our phenomenal feature for a break for the feature. So um, this is Fiona Apple and Criminal. <laughs> Go. 